American flying fortresses have cut two great aerial highways through the heart of Hitler's Europe. Huge fleets of heavy bombers now fly from Britain and Italy to land on newly established American bases in the Soviet Union. Here they fly over occupied Yugoslavia, over marshalling yards in Hungary, and over airfields in Romania. targets pounded were all chosen by Red Army commanders. Soviet airmen await the American planes as they wing on to Ukrainian fields. The new two-way service eliminates the long run home when the missions are completed. The first American arrivals are met enthusiastically by their Russian brothers in arms. United States Ambassador Harriman is present as General Eker pins the Legion of Merit on General Permanov in charge of the Russian end of the service. Russian girls have hot food ready and waiting for the American pilots. Nearby, the Americans are shown the devastation wrought by the Nazis before they were flung Berlinward. It was just three years ago that Hitler sealed his doom by the attack on the Soviet Union. The Russians and Americans worked side by side, servicing the big forts and their escorting fighters for the return trip. Barriers of language disappear, and the young Russians and Americans ready more and more tons of bombs for Hitler and his satellites. The Red Army entertains its Western guests with a lively show. Russian dance band takes the stage and United Nations unity quickly becomes social as well as military. As the great new Soviet summer offensive bursts into flame on many fronts, the planes are bombed up, ready for the flight westward and another blow at the Nazi war machine.